Hey folks, Phil Beeman here. It's uh, about minus 30 outside and the wind is blowing like crazy, so I can't think of a better thing to do than to talk about heat in bee colonies. And so we're still thinking about this oxalic thing and I thought I would dig a little bit deeper into it to uh, tell you why I find this pretty interesting. And so going way back to the start of 2025, so 2024 25 wintering season, we, uh, in collaboration with the University of Saskatchewan, we put some oxalic strips in some hives, and those bees went pretty wild. I'd never seen anything like that inside uh, a wintering shed before. And at the time, I kind of chalked it up to a bit of rough handling. Uh, it's already in. in uh, how do I say this? The bees early in the winter season, they're they're like beekeepers. They just want to chill and relax. And then as the winter gets on, they get more and more antsy. So by the time we got to putting those, starting that research last year, uh, those bees were already kind of thinking this is enough already. Um, and then we tipped them all up to check uh, colony strength and put them down. We ripped the lid off to look at how strong they were on the top. Then we put strips in them. I thought, ah, it's, that's rough handling. And uh, so I'll show you a bit of the, what that looked like uh, uh, here. Good. Here we have a hive that's really worked up. <laughs> That's unusual for indoor winter colony. We got the fancy thermal camera and uh, saw that uh, in this year, when we put the strips in and did all that scoring just before the bees went in, saved both us and the bees uh, a lot of uh, angst. And we didn't see that same kind of craziness uh, happen at all. These bees went in and they were quite happy from the outside, didn't look any different than the rest of the colonies. So that's something useful to think about. Uh, but then when we look at the thermal camera, actually those hives are like, they're still abnormal compared to the rest of the colonies in that shed. The top row of these hives is the ones in our interdoor oxalic treatment, look how hot they are. So what's going on? So then we map that to uh, which, you know, which colonies were showing significantly oversized heat signature compared to which ones got different treatments and we saw an effect. And I put that into my uh, computer and had some AI uh, crunch the data for me because let's face it, I'm no statistician. And uh, it showed a positive effect that uh, there was correlation. So, uh, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but it was worth digging into. So that's how we got to designing the 4x4 experiment that uh, I've been posting about the last couple of days. And so we should be see if this is uh, handling because we gave we treated all the colonies the same now we didn't tip them up or bang them around or anything so if we see nothing then um, it's not that if it's the effect of either the oxalic or the glycerin then that should show up in our heat signatures when we go back and look at those bees so uh that was Friday at five. It's now Sunday morning. Okay, here we are. Uh, two sleeps after putting uh, those products in these hives. And honestly, not a lot going on. I'll turn the camera around and let's look closer. So, not much. Oops. That one there is oxalic. A little bit of bee action there at the front. Just, just individual bees wandering around more than anything else. This one is oxalic too. 
and vaporizing. This one, another survivor. Oh, that's the survivor from the test before. Glycerin plus oxalic. Bees look quite content. Glycerin only, about the same. Maybe they're a bit more out the front. Glycerin only. Okay, now we're starting to see a little bit more in the results where, okay, that one at the end, that's oxalic, next uh, vapor, the one next to it, quite a bit warmer by contrast, you can see is glycerin plus oxalic. This one, I mean, there's B, where you see the cluster at the very bottom, is warm but the box itself is cooler and that is sham glycerin plus oxalic a little bit warmer oxalic vapor quite content glycerin plus oxalic this one eh, nothing too concerning glycerin only about the same that one there, you can see where I've centered on it now, pretty quiet. That was the last one we skipped. Next one we skipped. Over here, uh, this is glycerin plus oxalic. The, belt, the box is warmed up. This one, uh, vape, oxalic vapor, not nearly as warmed up. So, that's interesting. Okay, at the other end of the row, we have glycerin only. Nothing too crazy going on there. This one is a spade. It is, that's sham. See, so you look at those two together, not a huge difference. This one's a sham. Normal heat signature, oxalic vapor, normal heat signature, glycerin only looks pretty normal. And when you compare, say, you know, as I look down the whole row now, the, these hives to the ones just below them, slightly warmer, but nothing acute. So that's our 36-hour result. Stay tuned. We'll check in regularly.